Hey, what's up? John Sanmez here. Today, I am going to be doing a book review. I haven't done a book review in a while. I decided to go ahead and continue doing them on this channel. I did a video a little bit while back asking if you guys like them because they weren't getting very many views. But those of you that like the book reviews, you really like them. And I, I got a lot of feedback from that, so I'm definitely going to keep on doing them. I have to tell you, though, I have not been reading as much lately. Uh, it's been an interesting year so far. You know, I've been kind of just trying to figure out a lot of shit. So I'm still in the... What, how could I put it? In the weeds? <laughs> uh, yeah, today was just one of those days where it's like... Just like self-loathing. Self-loathing. Like, just fuck, stop, you know, stop getting fat and like get on track and get disciplined and wake up early. And uh, I need to I need to get get that shit going. Self reflection moment. But the book I'm gonna do the review on today is called Sperm Wars. It is a rather older book. I, I think it's like 1990 something. A very interesting book. Very interesting book. You can check it out. Sperm Wars here. I got the Kindle version of it. I don't think there is an audio version of it. Uh, and uh, really, really interesting book about human sexuality. Uh, a lot of it's. It's. I, I love how the author has has created the book in a sense. It's like these scenes. So it's these little mini stories that are pretty intriguing and pretty explicit. <laughs> I'll, I'll say. Take this book with a grain of salt because I'm not sure on all of the science here. I mean, this is supposed to be legitimately founded on science, uh, on, on how you know reproductive systems work and, and sperm and sperm warfare essentially being that different sperm fight each other essentially like and, and there's a lot going on in, in the whole human reproductive system it's stuff that I have never heard of before so you know what you heard of in your high school sex ed class uh, this is like way way beyond that way beyond that you know normally when I read books about you know science type of stuff I've heard this stuff before this was very new, <laughs> very new ground for me. Uh, but I'll tell you, it, it sort of explains a lot of the human psychology. If you think about this from a very biological perspective, uh, why people act the way that they do, why men act the way they do, why women act the way that they do. Well, this makes sense. This makes sense why you see infidelity in certain situations. This makes sense why men are wired the way that they do, why women behave the way they do, why, you know, it, it makes a lot of sense from an evolutionary and uh, psychological perspective. You know, I think this is a really good book to read, to understand that, but it's also one of those books that is going to slap you in the fucking face. And what I mean by that is like, when you realize that we're probably biologically driven to enact certain behaviors and to act certain ways, both men and women, it's kind of a shocking reality and not one that most people are willing to accept or want to accept. It, it kind of dashes that whole Disneyland fairy tale princess type of viewpoint of the world, which I mean, hopefully if you've been watching my channel for a while, especially if you check out my playlist on becoming a better man and attracting women and, and those, those kind of subjects, uh, hopefully that's already been dashed. You've already taken the red pill. You already understand that that's kind of some bullshit and, and you've, you're awakened to reality. But if not, this book will definitely slap you in the face. But yeah, I, overall, I think this is a really good book. It was really entertaining, actually, while educating. And you know, there's a lot of the psychology that I think I can see here and apply here, especially to my coaching, when you understand kind of that we're all driven. And it makes sense here, right? I mean, it makes sense that we're all driven by, by a biological mechanism to reproduce and to like reproduce uh, the best way possible to, to have the, the best genes move forward. And when you realize that that like underlying everything that we do, there has to be that. Uh, and so that's where our, our psychology comes from and that's where our logic, like everything is built on that. Uh, so, you know, it, it, it makes sense. It makes sense of a lot of irrational behaviors, right? And a lot of behaviors that may seem malicious, but they're not, they're just biologically driven and we're unaware of them because they're happening subconsciously. They're happening at a kind of a biochemical level which is driving us and uh, so, so it's really interesting I think to, to think about things that way uh, it, sometimes, sometimes you know you've got the top-down approach of looking at the psychology of things and why people do things but then you've got kind of the bottom-up approach of looking at the biology of things which is influencing the psychology of things which I think is equally important all right so that's all I got for you today uh, make sure you check out the book called sperm wars and if you haven't subscribed already make sure you click that subscribe button click the bell so you don't miss any new videos as they come out. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.